Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create deals in Pipedrive with newly caught webhooks. So there are certain applications for which you cannot find trigger in Pabli Connect, but they can be integrated using webhook. So we are going to use webhook by Pabli to retrieve information from that specific application. And then we, are, we will integrate these two applications in such a way that whenever we receive information from webhook by Pabli, then a deal will be created in Pipedrive. So we will create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be webhook and our action will be pipe drive. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn that how can you retrieve information from a webhook and then create a deal in your pipe drive. So this is my pipe drive account and here a deal will be created once I get the information from a webhook. For the webhook, I'm going to use Jotform over here. So Jotform is a form builder application which works on webhook integration because it responds to the webhook integration. I'm going to integrate my Pabli Connect webhook with Jotform. Let us quickly sign in into our account. And I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. So click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create deals in pipe drive with newly caught webhooks. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. Now here you will see two important modules of Pabli Connect that are called Trigger and Action. They are the basis on which this workflow runs. Make sure you've opened your Pipedrive account and also the webhook integration application that you're going to use. I'm going to use Jotform, so I have prepared a form for this deal inquiry. I have created this form in such a way that when this form will be filled like here and submitted, then I will receive a response here as the trigger application and then the deal will be created with the information of this form. So trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger will be the first application where the event is performed manually. That is, we are going to fill the form over here and action will be the and then action will be the last application where the assign action will be performed automatically because of this trigger. So our trigger for here is webhook. We are choosing webhook over here because this complete automation is based on webhook integration. There are some applications that you might not find as a trigger in Pabli Connect. But if they are integrated using webhook, then you can use this webhook by Pabli. It captures the webhook. This webhook given to you will, you will be helpful in connecting that specific application and this Pabli Connect in such a way that every action performed over here, every event performed over here will be sent over here as a response. So let us learn how to integrate Jotform and Pabli Connect using this webhook URL. First of all, go to your form. Now you have prepared this form. This is in the build position right now. Go to settings and come over here to integration and open this. And here you will find integrations for all the applications that you can perform with Jotform. Here type webhooks. Choose this webhook and in this section you have to fill this webhook that you are given over here in the workflow. Copy that and paste it over here. Once you've pasted it, click on complete integration and now Pabli Connect and Jotform are integrated. Now it has started to wait for a webhook response, which means that whenever this form will be filled, you will receive a response over here with all the form details over here. So let us start. So this is a form for deal inquiry because at the end, this information will be used to create a deal in pipe drive. So we are going to fill the form as if we are making an inquiry about a deal. So our deal is about fashion, let's say the name of the person who's inquiring. I'm going to keep this name only the saved details, the phone number, what is the value of the deal. So I'm going to put the value here and the organization name. This is my organization name. Click on submit and then the form is submitted. When you come over here, this waiting will be over soon when the response will be received. And here you see the response is received. Here we have the name of the form, the deal reason, the name of the person, the name of the organization and all the details we filled the form with. So we are going to use this information. Now, if you have been working on pipe drive, you might have noticed that a deal can only be created in pipe drive once the person which exists in the deal over here, like if you open, then if the person over here in the deal exists already in pipe drive, only then a deal can be created. So for that, we need a person. First, we will choose our application as pipe drive over here. And then we will find a person. Okay, so let us choose our action event as find person. We will find that the person with the same name that we have received in the form exists or not. So connect your pipe drive, add new connection and you will find a field for API token. Here go to your pipe drive, go to your profile, personal preferences. Here you will find API. 
copy this API and paste it here in your workflow. Click on save and your integration is complete over here. Now what field to search? I am going to search it via email that we are looking for the similar kind of email. So let us map the email that we have it in the form. It is this one. Okay, search for an exact match. Yes. So look for an email which is just like this only and get a complete information about that person. Click on save and send test request and here you will receive the response. Success, yes, which means that yes, there is a person. The ID of the person is this, the name of the person, the contact number, the email address, which everything is similar to what we filled in the form, which means that yes, a person exists. So if a person exists, then the deal will be created right away. But if the person does not exist, then what? then we will put a router in this case. Now router is a feature that is built inside Fably. It gives you conditions on which it will perform actions. Here you have two options. First router will make it sure that if the person already exists, then the deal will be created directly. And the second router will make sure that if the person does not exist, then first create the person and then create the deal. So let us first of all rename both of these routers. I'm going to name the first router as exists update and the second will be rename and it will be does not exist click on update and the name is done now click on the set filter and action step you will put a filter over here to make it sure that the person exists or not so what was the identity of the person existing in pipe drive this data id because if there was no person there would not have been any id but this person exists which means there is an id so if data items item id exist just exist is not equal to anything it could be anything the id could be any number so we are keeping it to this id existing over here click on save and send test request and you will see the condition is true so only continue if the condition is true and how will you continue you will create the deal straight away okay so choose your action application over here as pipe drive and then create a deal over here click on connect Select existing connection because you already have a pipe drive connection in this workflow. Click on save and then you will fill in details to create a deal. What was the title? So you can take the title from this webhook response. The title was this. Okay, this was the title creation date. We do not have and it is not a required feed also. So you can leave it empty. Status is open owner name organization name. You can leave empty. Person ID, we do have person ID. We got it from the find person step. So we are going to map it from there only. Okay, person ID. Value, yes, we have the value in our webhook response. So what was the value? It was somewhere like this. Yeah, this is the value. So we have basically done everything. If you want to change the currency, I'm changing it to my own currency. You can change it according to your own country. Click on save and send test request and you will see the response will say that yes, a deal has been created. See, this is the deal created you go back to your pipe drive over here go to deals and see this deal is created just now which means that if the person exists already in your pipe drive account then this filter will make sure that the deal is created straight away now we will work on the second router which says that the person does not exist so we are going to do the settings like find the person and this data item id does not exist click on save and send test request and then the response will say that the condition is false. So in this case, only continue if this condition is false. Okay, so it will continue to the next step and first of all, create a person. So choose pipe drive in your action application and the event this time will be to create a person. First, we will create a person and then we will create a deal. Again, existing connection, click on save and then create a person by filling out the fields given over here. So you have to enter the name so you can enter all the name details over here. This is the name, last name, then map it, map the last name from here. First name. Then we have the phone number. Email address. Organization name if you want to enter then you can enter over here. And we have filled the sufficient details over here. Click on save and send test request and your person will be created. See, it says that it is created. Now, because this is a dummy workflow, it says that the person has been created. But according to the original fact, 
the person already exists. Okay, closing this window. We are going to add one more step over here and then that will be to create a deal. Choose your last action application as pipe drive over here and now you will create a deal. Connect. Again, select existing connection. Click on save. And then fill out the details how to create a deal like just we did in the first router. Now fill in the title in the similar way. Then the person ID is also required. So now you're going to map this person ID from the recently created person. You are going to enter the person ID over here, which is generated right here. See, what is the person ID? This. So you are going to enter this person ID by mapping it from that step. So come over here to your person ID. This is your last step and this is the ID. Okay. Now what is the value? So again, value we will enter over here. This was the value. Change the currency according to your own country or wherever you're working according to that and click on save and send test request. And you will see that success uh, another deal is created over here. See two deals are created. Now they have been created because we have been clicking on save and send test request all over again and again. Okay. And this was a dummy workflow. So that is why these two deals are created. But if the person did not exist, then first the person will be created and then the deal will be created. If the person already existed, then the deal will be created straight away. So we put router for this so that the both conditions are fulfilled easily. In any case, you don't have to do anything manually. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.